Hello Aries, welcome to your July love reading for the lovers. It's going to be a couples reading uh, exclusively for people already involved in relationships. And I'm actually going to do the how do they feel about me spread. So uh, basically it will, you know, do a reading. It's a love reading for your relationship. So uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Um, if you want your own private reading or just something more accurate, uh, more personal, you can contact me below. The link is in the video description box, okay? I am going to be using the Barbara Walker Tarot. I really do love this deck because of the accuracy, okay? Illustrations are pretty good also. All right, so I am going to call to the spirits, spirit guides for Aries, uh, for the relationships and the lovers, um, got a pretty loud frequency going on. Okay. All right. So I'm going to call to the spirits. Uh, spirits for the Aries. What is Airy partner telling them currently? So what's going on current? What is he or she really thinking? How does Aries partner feel deep down? How is... Uh, Aries partner showing it what are the outside influences on whatever the situation is and an outcome what what does Aries uh, what will Aries come to expect um, as a result <clears throat> so this one when you get this spread uh, it's supposed to be um, what you can expect within the next two months, generally, but you can also take this as overall, doesn't mean, but or maybe either for July, okay? So, um, anyway, all right, spirits, what messages do you have for Aries for July 2017 for relationships? All right. So I am an empath, okay? <laughs> I'm a certified empath, <clears throat> which means that, um, you know, as far as uh, how someone feels, as far as with the love readings and the emotional stuff, this is going to go mainly into feelings, maybe feelings that have not been expressed yet. Or maybe somebody's not being honest about their feelings. I don't know. You just never know. So... All right, lay out your cards, Aries. All right, so, wow, I can really see that this is a complicated relationship, whoever this is for. Um, first of all, I feel like with the Hermit coming up, I feel like for a majority of you, Aries, you're either feeling like you need space or some kind of a long time, maybe space outside of the relationship. Um, also, the hermit can represent maybe feelings that have not been expressed yet. Maybe the feelings have are being repressed in some way. I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some clarity on the hermit. What more can I tell the Aries about the hermit? So this is specifically for the Aries how they feel about you. So all of these are your partner's cards, okay? Uh, some of you will be in this reading, obviously, but um, yeah, Five of Pentacles. So I feel as though this is where your partner possibly feels like they need to be alone because they're not feeling themselves right now. Um, I feel as though if it's directly related to you, which is what this spread is supposed to look at, I feel like right now, currently, what they are telling you, um, and it doesn't mean that they're not telling the truth, but, you know, <clears throat> I feel like right now what what is showing to the Aries is with the Five of Pentacles, maybe possibly the partner, maybe it could be an unrequited situation, Okay feeling like you're not making them a part of things, definitely with the hermit. Um, it could be some kind of family engagement. 
it could be just in your life they just kind of feel as though you're not allowing them to be a part of that um it could be you feeling the same way <clears throat> at the same time um i will ask the spirits let me zoom in just a little bit more <clears throat> Sorry. Spirits, what advice do you want to offer to the Aries for the Five of Pentacles for their partner in their relationship? Because that's that's just not good to start out. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, <clears throat> Spirits is feeling like maybe uh, the situation could be just temporary. Maybe this is a time that maybe they just need to be alone to gather themselves or to ground themselves, okay? Um, what they're really thinking is the full card, <clears throat> okay? So it's either some kind of major issue with trust or either they're thinking that they want to start over. Feel like the full card is representing their desire to get back with you so i feel like especially if you are some uh aries who that person is saying i don't want to be with you right now i feel as though <clears throat> i feel like the full card is representing um you know them actually wanting to get back with you but just not saying it um, all right so the full card is representing I feel like, especially if you have been uh, separate, separated from this person, first of all, spirits do see some kind of new beginning, maybe even a long-term struggle with this person. But deep down, I can see with the full card that they would take you back. But I feel like it would be contingent on, you know, what they feel that they're getting from you. Okay, I'm going to ask spirit to give me some clarity on the full card. <clears throat> Spears, give me clarity on the full card, please, for, and then also advice. So I feel like there was definitely major trust issues within the relationship. Yeah, Seven of Cups. They're just not sure um, about how they feel right now because um, of whatever the situation was. It's also, I feel as though with the Seven of Cups, there's something that hasn't been fulfilled emotionally in the relationship. So that is creating the major issues with, especially if you are broken up. Now, if you're not broken up and you're together, together, uh, the Hermit is definitely representing, you know, being kind of in a... Um, in a place where you probably don't want to be bothered <laughs> with the relationship um, or either the person is kind of shying away from you okay they're possibly an earth sign person especially with the hermit coming up and they do want to take you back but they're really confused they want to make sure that they can trust you ask spirit what advice to offer to the Aries on the seven of cups so they're saying, I don't know if you mean what you're saying. I don't believe you. I think you're lying to me. I don't trust you. It's kind of what they feel deep down. If I felt I could trust you, I would take you back. Yeah, you got the seven of pentacles. So things are really, really, um, I feel like sort of in a place where you're just not sure. Whoever, whatever Aries, whoever Aries this is for. So it may not resonate with you, not all of it, but... Um, now, how they're feeling deep down is the Queen of Cups, which is a very, very good sign. Shows a lot of uh, compassion. It shows that you are definitely in their heart, okay? Especially with all these sevens and this hermit and this five of pentacles. feel like spirit feels as though there's a chance that you could <clears throat> uh, start over. Um... May I spirit, what messages does the Queen of Cups want to give to the Aries? Now, your partner could be a water sign. I'm seeing either water sign or definitely an earth sign. 
So I feel like they do definitely care about you, uh, have a lot of compassion for you. Um, but there's something going on with that, um, the chariot. So, yeah, they feel as though the relationship is going to cause them to have setbacks or maybe the relationship did cause them to have setbacks. Maybe it's, it's taken a lot of energy out of them. It's draining them. And, you know, so, yeah, that's why the chariot comes up. It's like either either I'm going to move forward strong and by myself or because I'm not going to move forward just as this with the five of pentacles that's not a good energy or the seven of cups so that's really how they feel they love you but you know and I feel like that's the obstacle as far as if you're trying to um take the relationship to another level <laughs> you know what I'm saying um Right here, you got the star card. So this is um, the card to represent how they're showing their feelings for you. And I do feel as though they're being really patient, um, really transparent. feel like the star card is representing hope and inspiration. So they're not completely shutting you out completely. If you do feel shut out, then <clears throat> I feel like you probably need a private reading. Spirit, give me some clarity on the star card. I feel like whoever this is for, you can see a lot of Aries needing some private readings about this for clarification. But Spirit, give me some clarity on the star card. Now, again, this is not a personal private reading, but, you know, they are still uh, uh, accurate. <laughs> the hanged man comes up. So, I feel like they are possibly telling you that you need to be grounded. They're probably trying to inspire you. Um... Out, but outside influences. <clears throat> Either it's people are judging you, people around that person, Aries, are judging you. Um, I don't know if this is something that you didn't know, or I feel as though this is where you have like a karmic connection with that person. Possible, possible twin flame. Okay, three of the major twin flame cards came up. <clears throat> Actually, four of them. The Star, the Judgment, the Two of Wands, and the Fool. So, it, but it could also, what could be outside influences is that Aries, your partner, could be going through some kind of past life transgression or regression to where they're reliving the past, to where they're dealing with past life issues. I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some clarity, advice, or what other messages do you have for the Aries uh, in the past on this judgment and then looking at the future. Um, so that's basically what that tells you is that there is some energy of where there are people judging you from the outside that they are sort of confusing. And it is happening on a major level <clears throat> with the judgment card coming up. Uh, Nine of Cups and King of Wands. So Nine of Cups is representing uh, happiness, completion. And I feel like King of Wands is representing... Um, you know, the energy and strength to, um, you know, to, um, to withstand judgment or either to use good judgment. I feel like King of Wands is a spirit guide. King of Wands does represent fire energy. I'm going to ask spirit, what advice is the King of Wands offering to the Aries for this judgment card? I'm still not seeing it clearly. The Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like spirits are definitely saying with this symphony of cards is uh, count your, I'm sorry, be careful what you wish for. Uh, it might come true. 
But I do feel as though in a previous life, with just judging by what I can see, I feel like you had a lot of emotional attachment with your current lover in a past life. Uh, in this life, you feel the same way. The Wheel of Fortune does rep represent fate or destiny. You feeling like this person is your fate or your destiny, but you're going through a lot of changes because you're having a hard time figuring out how to how to work it into your life. <clears throat> Spirits, what uh, advice would you offer to the Aries with this Wheel of Fortune? Okay. The Nine of Wands is representing um, kind of almost like the chariot, not wasting too much of your energy on things in the past. The judgment card does represent the past, okay? Um, you did get these two nines. So I feel like with these two nines, especially being that I, I study numerology adding up to 18, feel like this is representing a reunion. Both of these numbers is representing some kind of reunion. The Two of Wands is the outcome card. So um, I feel like this card is representing the relationship is going to get stronger. Okay, the Two of Wands represents um, partnership. Now, I'm going to ask Spirit what advice to offer on that Two of Wands. <clears throat> I feel like Spirits is also saying that you are uh, going to realize these similarities between you and whoever you're with. Okay, with the Two of Wands, either, I, I feel like they are, they are going to realize it. Um, and they're going to feel probably a little bit more connected with you. All right. Give me some more clarity on that Two of Wands and then advice. I'm going to throw two more cards for you. Okay, King of Cups and the World card. So whoever it is that you're involved with, I do feel as though within the next at least couple of months from what Spirit is seeing is that uh, they are going to... Um, <clears throat> feel like this the king of cups is, is somebody that's very compassionate represents love it represents um represents emotional stability and then the world card okay the world card is representing closure or either balance and harmony so I feel like something positive is going to happen between you and whoever this person is. It looks like there's definitely some difficulty in trust issues. And then also it seems like your partner is going through something to where they're not feeling like they're getting enough from you. Okay. Or that they are going to, or maybe they're not getting enough out of themselves. Okay. But I feel like the outcome is pretty good. The world card does indicate Either some kind of, uh, sometimes for some of you, Aries, maybe some travel, okay? Um, maybe. So, King of Cups, um, some of you could travel near water, or maybe you're planning on traveling near water. Um, I'm sorry, this is not for the singles, but, it, you know, it does represent a very good outcome for Aries in July 2017 for your love life. Um, if you would like a private reading, the link to my website is below. Uh, again, make sure you hit the subscribe button and thumbs up this video to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.